How's it going guys, Teach here, and yes, we're back, it's Fallout 4, it's episode 7, and yeah, super excited, so we're just going to get cracking, and yeah, as you can see, the suit, she's back, yeah, she's a bit worse for wear, still need to, I've, I've put the armour somewhere, I need to, there's a bench down here, that I've soon since sussed out where I know I can go and repair said armour, I just need to realise where I've put it, because for some unbeknown reason I've put it somewhere, I will find it, it's not completely lost, it's just not close to hand. So yeah, anyway, as I said, I was just going to go get stuck in, you know, building the land that Teach built. You know, this is this is us, this is, this is home in the wastelands. I like it, you know, it's got a certain, I don't know, shall we call it shabby chic going on. Uh, but yeah, so in, in between episodes, you know, I didn't really want to film too much of everything that was going on and... And all the buildings and stuff, but as you can see, I've, I've built my house. I'll be honest, it is just a sort of preset one. I didn't want to mess around too much. Oh, one of my defences. I didn't want to mess around too much, but you know, pretty basic. A couple of sofas for when Teach wants to chill out. You know, I can just chill out down here and do, you know, cool stuff like looking at the sofa on the other side of the room. Maybe Pooch will come in, join us. No, Pooch, Pooch, no. So yeah, so. Uh, dead basic. Just, just somewhere to sleep. This is one of my new settlers. We'll get onto that in a second. No, no, it's been a bit of a learning curve getting this this town sorted. But uh, here's my bed that the settler seems to have decided is hers. You know, women creeping in my bed. Uh, so we've got the safe down here. This is where I'm keeping my cool stuff as it goes. I done a little bit of little bit of wandering around the the local area. I uh, just want to pop it. Picked up another Grognak magazine. It gave me a little bit of a boost, which was all cool, all good. So we'll shove that in there. And I picked up another one. And then I've got a, I've got a tape here. I've got a couple of tapes that I'm, I'm gonna listen to. There's a computer around somewhere. We can, oh no, we can load them into the Pip Boy. We'll have it. We'll, we'll do that in a second. Um, so yeah. Uh, so I built the house. I've been constructing a wall all the way around the perimeter. Although. I have begun to run out of materials. I could, you know, scrap a few more bits and pieces, but, but yeah, we're doing all right. As I say, I picked up a settler. Woo, 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 woo. Um, so the premise seems to be that you obviously want to get more people around. More people means more friends, more people to trade with, etc. Um, so I put myself a little generator down and built this mast thingamabob right here. And if we take a listen to the radio. Thought was pretty cool. Recruitment radio beacon. Take a listen. Come on. Come on. It's making a fool of me. Attention. Here we go. Commonwealth residents. See, it's teach. Are you looking for a safe place to settle? I'm famous. On these coordinates. Famous. If you're willing to work hard, you can make the Commonwealth a better place. You can make it a better place. Come join me at Teachland. I don't know what I've called it yet. Teachland I'll have to do for now. Same with dog meat. Call him Pooch. Pooch is still Pooch. Till I get a suggestion, he will remain Pooch. Um. So yeah, so... I mean, other than that, I've not really done, not really done right. I've tidied up the place. I've been flattening a few buildings and, and going through and getting rid of all the garbage. We've still got the lovely hat wearing Preston down there. Um, but yeah, in the main, in truth, that's the lot. Um, gained a settler, which I thought was pretty cool. Want to gain more. Need to try and build a few more things up. Made Crazy Eyes and a lovely chair for it to sit down in. How's it going, Crazy Eyes? Vibrant community. I've seen it. I know hey. you've seen it. Like you've seen everything. See where the site takes us this time? Oh, she wants something else. Here you go. Here you go. You crazy ah, crack hole. That's it. I can feel the site opening up. You're looking for a man. Another level. He can help you. But he ain't gonna be the man you expect. He's somewhere deep. And dark, surrounded by folks with nothing but cruel intentions. But there's 
An echo. Something in the past that can help you. When you meet the fat man and the angry woman, tell them to remember the quarry and Lily June on the rocks, and they'll let you and your friend pass. <coughs> okay. Don't mind me, kid. <coughs> the chems are just acting up a bit. We'll have to try and remember that little phrase, I think. Our little resident smackhead has just given us some uh, insight into something we may need to do in the future. So yeah, so I've emptied out all my all my bits and pieces. I'm, I've, I've basically made sure I'm carrying very little. And I uh, now think, let's have a look at our... See, this is showing me that I need to get more defense up. But to build more turrets, I need to get some more circuitry. And I'm probably going to build up, you know, the land that Teach built. Mainly off camera, I think. Because it's a lot of uh, messing around and moving objects ever so slightly. It takes a long time and it's uh, probably a bit boring to watch for you guys. So I'll certainly, uh, I will address that. You know, I've got six people, I've got six beds. I do believe if I probably have more beds out, I'll probably get more people. But I want to ensure I can keep the water up and the food up, etc, etc. And every time you do that, I believe you have to keep your defense up. Hence why at the moment I'm showing that it's a bit of a warning sign. So raiders want to get on board and, and raid this place. So, um, so that's what I was doing. I just wanted to have a look at my quest. We've got three levels up to level ups to do a, a game. Um, that show me those little magazines and stuff that I've picked up, which is cool. So uh, we, don't, we don't want stats. We don't, we want data quests. So, go to Diamond City, miscellaneous, which is investigate Vault 81, which we don't really know where Vault 81 is yet. And the first step, which is where I went to speak to those settlers down at Ten Pines a while ago. I was going to head down there, but being very early on in the game, I didn't bother. So I am going to make my way down there now. That's that's where we're heading in this episode. Um, whether we get all the way there, whether we run into something on the way... I'll probably, you know, if we come across quests, I'll, I'll judge each one as we come along. But I do sort of want to press on with the main story mission. But, you know, we're here to explore. We're here to have fun. So if I see something that's quite entertaining in my eyes, my only hope would be it would be for you guys. And we'll just, you know, we'll accept the shit out of that. So, yeah, let's, um, let's just, let's just, yeah, can we set that as active quest? The first step. So it should put us a little beacon. And, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll bring Pooch with us. I have got the ability now to, to, to take, um, you know, the robot, Codsworth, I can take, Preston, but we'll uh, we'll just make our way down there, we'll, we'll just dander on down, see what passes in our way, I'm sure we'll find some raiders and maybe discover a few places, raid a few places, we'll be, we'll be fine, we'll be fine, so I'll probably go in the first person. It's not somewhere I want to take the suit because the suit takes the fusion cores, which I do. I think I've got a, a good handful of, but I um, I definitely don't want to just go ahead and waste them. So you know, we'll cut across. We'll we'll get off the beaten track where possible. When I was out investigating as well, I did find a feral ghoul, which has been mentioned a couple of times. Let's have a look. We'll take that extinguisher. Oh. We gotta go down there, I reckon. Let's get a light on. Light me up, pit boy. Right. So we're in a cave. I've got my pooch. Well done, pooch. This could get interesting because I don't really know what to expect down here. Holy shit. Mole rat. Come on then, you filthy mole rats. What? Yeah. Uh oh, grenade. Grenade, dog. Okay, 
So it looks like really this is just a right load of junk. Not seen anything I can pick up as of yet. Brain fungus. Got to get me some of that. Harvest the shit out of that. More rat teeth. So yeah, the game is obviously based around a whole, whole lot of looting and, and picking up junk and rubbish. And, but to be honest, in a cool way, because it all becomes relatively useful. Okay. We'll take that fusion core for a start. Getting loads of radiation being near all this stuff. We'll take that. A letter. Mr. Benson, on behalf of the Boston Regional Office, I would like to congratulate you and your team on winning the 2076 Trash Busters Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste reduction by a single store. Respect for the environment is an integral part of our corporate image, and we appreciate your innovative efforts, innovative efforts in this regard. Sincerely, Jared Phillips, Vice President, Boston Region. Right, so you mean nothing, but I'm getting some serious radiation down there. further down the ramp. Whoa there. You glowing little horrible bitch. Angry back. Now I've already shot it. Irritated blood. Right then. So. Bit of glowing fungus dead body, as you'd always expect to find in one of these places. A fuse, adjustable wrench, and we do have a safe that is locked. Bit of bobby pin action. Nope. Oh no. No. Like a pro. Yes. Baseball. Duct tape. Frags will take them. And that and that. And a mine. Jobs are good. This 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 nuclear thing around there is 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 interesting. Because I feel as though I don't want to go too close. I mean I, I probably have to I got some sort of rad away, is that gonna Oh yeah. We've got no radiation now, and I'll probably use a stim pack. Yeah, that's that's interesting. There may be something to do with that there. I was say, it's relatively new to the game, so that could mean something important going forward, but not just now. So we won't worry about it. But I'll remember it's there. Well, I won't, because, you know, I'm just sort of over a hill in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, right, Pooch. All we have to remember is on the outskirts of town. So yeah, we'll just dander on down and expecting to come across a few bits and pieces on the way down there. Which would be quite cool. We've lost our recruitment beacon signal, which means we're, we're out of earshot of the town at the moment. I'm just keeping my eyes peeled because, you know, we've... We've been through that. Could probably go through that whole place and do a hell of a lot of looting, and I will. Just probably not when you guys are, you know, here trying to watch me progress in, in the story, etc. So, let's have a look. Come on, pooch. This is all the fine baby teacher. You've not met baby teacher, have you, Pooch? I mean, even I only met him briefly. Oh. Fire. Dog meat found something. Alright, dog meat. 
We'll take that beer. To be honest, dog meat, you know, pooch. It's not like I've not seen it myself. You know, I like the fact that you're trying to help. Oh, we'll take the beer, the booze and the bourbon. Um, I know, I, I do like the fact that he's trying to help. You know, it's quite cool. But, well, have you found something else? What? I know, I see you're excited. But I've, I've taken it off. Come on, move it, Mutt. Who had a deal? Over the goods. You owe us. I ain't What's going on over here then? Anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, vault boy. This doesn't Don't involve vault boy me. I am the teach. Low your you gun now. That gun in my face. Or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. <laughs> Damn right. We'll lower our weapons, alright? Just don't do anything crazy. What's going on? What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. Tough shit. I tried reasoning with her, but it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? No. Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. No, get out if of here. If I way. help, I expect to get paid. All right. I was gonna pay you a hundred caps, but why don't we make it one twenty-five? That went quiet. I'll talk to. I'll Trudy. talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. I hope it doesn't go sideways. I'm trying to be a polite, I'm nice man. Just don't piss me off, all right? <clears throat> I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Yeah, you told me you were sat on goods, not money. Look, you owe the money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right, I'll pay. Good. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money, but I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right, crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Uh, so. We get paid, and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. Good job. Here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer? I ain't buying your junk. Or am I? What kind of chems do you sell, anyway? Well, whatever I can get a hold of. Jet's popular. Gives you a rush when you need it. You're the state of the smack at somebody. Why do you keep walking away from her? So what we got going on in here? I We're can't... open for business again. A little lighter in the pocket, thanks to you. How about you buy something and make it up to us? Well, what are you selling, my love? Sure, let's take a look. All salvaged, but nothing's junk. All right, so she's... She's just got a whole lot of little bits and bobs that you may or may not need. Right, okay. Yeah, I don't want any of your junk. Or your salvage, or whatever you want to call it. Never take a hit of Jet again, I swear. Yeah, you're a mess, <coughs> Patrick. God, you change your stitching all over. Thanks for helping oh, us some out. some serious cold turkey. You good. Thank you. Now, let's talk business. <coughs> I see you eyeing me. Don't get cute. Shut up. I don't want nothing to do with you, ho. I don't want nothing to do with you, ho. Let's have a look at that over there. Some sort of... Caravan slash trailer. It's 
What's going on, Pooch? Checking out the house. What's do with Pooch. We'll take those. All the houses look very similar. Just, just broke our shit. Wow, man, time flies when you're just wandering around on this game. Unlock. Oh, I've got that key. I picked up that shit. Tactical light 10 millimeter pistol. Oh, damn. We might have to have a uh, quick, quick noses at that, people. One second. Um, still need to find where all the stuff is. I'm gonna make him my favourite. Swap it with that one because it's the same. Same one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. Not many rounds in this though. What else we got? We got any more of these trucks? Right, the music's beginning to change. They they be shit going on round here, Pooch. Stay alert, Pooch. Just like the fact that you can loot everything. Skip wrapped paradise. Well, I'm guessing, I'm guessing we need to be, we need to somewhere close down here. It's like another little, little town or something down this way. Trying to be careful because I don't really know what's around here. Could walk into an ambush. Alright, so. I don't really need to be that way. Not just yet. That over there, that big factory looking place, looks like pretty much where we need to be going. <laughs> And pardon me, I'm still getting over a serious bout of man flu. And the pooch too. I have to give the pooch some lemsip. Crazy pooch. So. I'm up on some broke ass bridge. And I've discovered Lexington. She's always nice. Ah, there's a raider up there. See him? I've seen him. So what's going on here? Anything. We'll take you. We'll take you. And I've discovered the assembly plant now. Which again, is quite cool. So I think considering we've discovered it. more raiders down there and I heard one go hey as if they'd seen me so I think because we don't really know what's right, right behind that door yet this this episode will be a little bit shorter than the rest but it's probably a good place to end so that we don't end up with one that's really long because I don't really know what this this quest <laughs> entails or involves or anything like that so rather than have it roll on to sort of 40 45 minutes that maybe not everybody can you know got the time for completely understandable guys completely understandable um we will we will hit the quick save for a start and we'll save that shizzle right now and we will begin to say goodbye i'd like to thank everybody for coming along giving us a watch um yeah feel free to check out the the, the channel you know uh, we've got lots of stuff going on at the moment. We've got some Rise of the Tomb Raider going on. We've got Halo 5. 
Minecraft, you've got a whole lot of uh, Star Wars, Battlefront, Black Ops, there's all sorts going on on the channel guys, so if you've not checked it out, please do. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, and I will see you in episode 8, which will be with you same time tomorrow. And this is Teach, getting out of here guys, I'll catch you later. Thank you.